In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a program that lets the user enter a value for length and a value for width of a rectangle. The program then calculates the area and perimeter of the rectangle and displays it in a couple of labels. So the program must have the following two functions. You have to have a function called calc area that has an argument called len, which is a double, a double, and an argument called width, which is also a double. You also have to create another function called calc perimeter with a argument called len, which is a double, and an argument called width, which is a double. So to save time, I'm not going to have a video showing how to create these controls. So this control right here is called txt length. It's for the length of the rectangle. This control right here is called txt width for the width of the rectangle. This is LBL perimeter for the perimeter of the rectangle. This is per LBL area for the area of the rectangle. So what we're going to do is we want to get into the code window. Now, depending on the version you're using, there's different ways to get to the code window. So if you click View, and in this case, I have to press F7. Others, the one that I have at home, you have to do Control Alt 0. So in this case, I press F7, and that takes me to the code window. So I'll press the F7 key, and I'm in the control win code window. I'm sorry. Now what you want to do is you want to create a function or a method outside of another function. So the best place to put it is right here. You see it says public form 1. This is a function called form 1 and I'll explain that later what that means in chapter 10 I believe. But right after this closing curly brace we want to create a function. So. We're going to use private, and we want our function to return a double. We're going to call our function calc area. Let me make this a little bit bigger because uh, there we go. So private double calc area using camel case, and my first argument is going to be a double, and I'm going to call it len, comma. And my second argument is going to be a double also called wid. Now, the body of my function is going to be between two curly braces. So let me type in the two curly braces. And then let me press Enter. And so the body of my function is going to be right here. So this is going to be easy because what I want to do is I want to calculate, I want to pass two doubles, one for length and one for width, and I want to return the area of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is nothing but length, length times width, so I'm just going to return length times width. And there, that returns the length, the area of a rectangle. Now i got to create another function that calculates the perimeter of a rectangle. To calculate the perimeter of the rectangle, we have to add all the all the sides of the rectangle. So I'm going to call my function calc perimeter, and just like before, it's going to return a double. Oh, sorry, uh, I have to have an argument. I'm going to have an argument for the length and an argument for the width. And I'll just say, oops, OK. Wow. There we go. So return, now this one's a little more involved. So I am going to return. times len plus 2 times width. Let's 
So that will calculate the area of the rectangle. So now let me go back to the form by clicking on the Form 1 tab. And I want to double click on the Calc button. It's going to take me to the code window, but this time it's going to take me to the cal Calc Click button. So I'm going to type my code here. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to create several variables. So I'm going to create a variable called length. I'm going to create a variable called width, area, and perimeter because these are the variables I need to work with. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to parse the text box. So if double that try parse and I want to uh, the txt width or txt length actually let me do that one first txt length comma out remember that it's an out parameter and length So remember, this is going to try to parse or try to convert the text. Oh, I forgot the txt. T. There we go. So this is going to try to convert the text of txt length to a double and assign that value to length. If that is successful, then this if statement is going to return true. If it's not successful, it's going to return false. So if it returns true, I'm going to do something. But I'm going to do the else part first, which is going to be what happens if it's not successful. So if it's not successful, we're going to let the user know it's not successful by letting them in a message box know that it wasn't successful. So message box dot show. And I'll say invalid entry, invalid entry for length and semicolon. So that's the first parse. Now right here, what am I going to do if it passes the first parsing? Well, I'm going to try to parse the second one. So I'm going to use another if statement. If double dot try parse txt with this time dot text comma out with so if this passes I'm going to do something so here's my two curly brace I'm going to do something if it's true but I'll handle the else part first to let the user know that that they were they did not provide a good value for the for txt width. So I'm going to say message box dot show invalid entry for width. Oops, width and semicolon. Now let me go back to the true part of the if statement. So it's past the length and the width, so all we have to do is call the different functions and display the results. So area is going to be equal to calc area, and I got to pass two arguments. I'm going to pass length, comma, width, And then I'm going to calculate perimeter by calling the function calc perimeter and also pass length comma width. And 
and then after that I'm gonna display in the two labels right so LBL area dot text is gonna be equal to area dot to string and LBL perimeter dot text is gonna be equal to oops sorry perimeter dot to string And now I'm ready to test my program. Let me make sure there's no. So I click start. First thing I'm going to make sure that it doesn't crash. So it says invalid entry for length. So let's try let's try 10 for the length and 50 for the width. So the perimeter for this is going to be 50. It's going to be two times. 10 which is 20 plus it's going to be 120 so and then that's the perimeter the area is going to be 10 times 50 which is 500 okay so 120 and 500 so it works now I didn't write the code for clear so at the moment oh I did write the code it's just I didn't show you it but you should just know it's just uh, making all these uh, quotation quotation so anyway so that concludes how to write functions and call them and display them in this box.